you guys do so well defensively at home the 38%, but what, what was going into that? Uh, just play hard. We, we play hard defensively. We scrambled um, all night long. Uh, we made sure that, you know, we kept fresh bodies in. And, um, you know, we, we made them BC crowds and, and forced them to pass the ball early. Uh, I think that was one of the biggest things, just forcing the ball out of his hands early, not even giving him a chance to, like, go into moves and, you know, um, you know, pick up fouls on guys and stuff like that. So um, just making sure that, you know, when he does see that double team that we're scrambling out and we're getting to the right guys. Um, they had a stretch where they made some threes, but they also had a stretch where they, the threes were tough on them because we were closing out so well. Feel like you were getting more and more comfortable with a game plan as like goes quarter by quarter. So, yeah, know. I think our um, our game plans have been good from like game one. You know, it's just a matter of just going out there and executing. Uh, I think the biggest things that was the for us losing the the first three games was uh, disparity in uh, free throw count. Um, now um, there's not very much disparity in the free throw count, um, and you know I think the guy, the game is kind of like going into a good flow. And I think we're playing at a, a good pace, uh, constant running our stuff, giving the, giving the ball to the guys that need the ball and letting them make plays and, and just, you know, feeding off the energy and everything that um, the defense is giving us and just making sure that we're prepared to go out there and knock down shots or, you know, make, make plays and make reads. You talked about speeding up the pass, sorry, guys, um, with Joel. Um, was there a, the same approach or a different kind of adjustment with Harden, too, just because, you know, it felt as though first couple of games, the passing was just sort of spot on. Guys are right at their spots. Was there something else that you were doing to kind of disrupt that? Uh, I think, like, with, with James, like, we were just kind of, like, over sending him to one one place as opposed to just guarding the ball straight up and then making him go around guys and then um, bringing guys when we need to bring guys. You know, sometimes you can bring too many guys to the basketball, and James is a superstar player. He's going to make plays. I mean, you know, for the most part, that's what he wants to do. You know, um, he knows he can score the basketball. He knows he can get to the free throw line, but he wants to get his guys involved because he knows it's going to open up the court and open up the game for everybody else. So, um, you know, for us, like, it was just, you know, it's just all about timing, you know, making sure we bring the, the guys at the right time, make them see bodies at the at the right time at the rim. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, he doesn't finish the, the ones that, you know, he, he usually finishes at the rim. And, and, you know, when he does kick them out, Make him float the ball as opposed to just throwing a straight line as it passes around the court. Offensively, um, you know, obviously Scotty and Pascal were tasked with bringing up the ball more. To see someone, obviously a rookie, kind of bringing up the ball and leading the way that he has, what was um, the difference that Scotty made when it comes to f facilitating? Uh, Scotty's a, a really good facilitator. He's a very smart basketball player. Um, obviously, like, you know, he, he's young, so he's going to, you know, throw up some crazy shots here and there, but, <laughs> you know, that happens with young guys. And, He's easy to reel back in. You can talk to him and say, hey, like, that's not a good shot. Do this, this, and this, and he'll do it. Um, so, you know, for us, you know, we need Scotty to keep facilitating, uh, keep taking advantage of the mismatches that he has. I mean, he's kind of like, you know, what Ben Simmons was for the Sixers uh, last year, you know, or the year prior. You know, um, you know he's that big body that's, that's, you know, point guards, they switch on him, and now he can take them to the post, and he can make plays, he can make reads out of the post. And uh, he can abuse them, and he's done a really good job of doing that. Um, but also done a, done a really good job of orchestrating the offense and getting us in, into some good some good flow. Note of sort of reeling him back in. We we always ask you about this being a young team and you know close out game on the road for the other team. Are you surprised, or or I guess what's your reaction to how sort of calm of a performance this was? I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Like these guys. You know, from day one when I got here, they seem like a, a great group of guys who are very poised. We have a really good coaching staff. We have a really good uh, staff that puts game plans together. And, and our job is to go out there and execute the game plan to our best of our ability. And that's what we all do. We go out there, we play as hard as we can. Everybody listens to each other. Is no no one man is bigger than the team. You know, and, and that's why, you know, we're able to go out there and win basketball games. We're able to get ourselves back into this series and, and continue to fight each and every night. A few times in the fourth quarter, and it seems like every time you would string together two or three buckets. You know this city well and this fan base well. How important was it to keep the crowd out of it? It's very important to keep this crowd out of the game. Uh, you know they can get very loud, and this building can get can, can get the rocking, and you you don't want that. You know, but I think uh, you know with us being the team that we are, we're a very resilient team, and you know um, you know the crowd hasn't really bothered us too much. 
Like, but it can get that way sometimes, and we don't want that to happen. So we want to come out and make sure we give, give our best punch uh, before they're able to punch us and uh, get up and, and control the game. I think we, we did a really good job. We, we controlled the game from start to finish. Um, yeah, they're going to make some runs, but every team makes runs. It, it's about withstanding those runs, and we did a really good job. Uh, Danny started making some threes, and we, we didn't get – you know, over too over anxious. You know, we came down, we orchestrated, we ran our offense, and and we come down with knockdown shots. Standard for fans to leave that early too. Say it again. I said, is it standard for fans to leave that early too? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you know, the the Philly fans are they're 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 tough. You know, um, you know, I think that's one of the reasons why, like, I love being here for the seven years I was here. You know, um, you know, they're a tough crowd. You know, they they're gonna let you know when you're doing doing great. They're gonna let you know when you're doing wrong, and they want they want to see everybody play hard. You know, this is a blue collar city and you know that's what they, they believe in, blue collar work and, and making sure that you know, you bring your one hundred percent maximum effort each, each and every night. Like you had them booing a little bit, that, that had to feel good. Like with with them being the favorites and, and you guys frustrating them, like what kind of pressure given the crowd in the town it's, it, like does that put on the Sixers, do you think? I mean, I, I don't really uh not really looking too much uh, into the pressure thing. You know, for us it's it's all about us. Just coming out, winning games making sure we take care of business, putting the ball in, in the guys' hands that need the ball and, you know, making sure that, you know, when every guy who's, who's stepping out there, they do their job. That's, that's the only thing we care about, is doing our jobs, making sure we get wins, and, and then seeing how it goes at the end.